Oh, Pledge allegiance. Oh, oh. All right. Okay. Please. Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Madam Secretary. Mr. Bento? Yeah. Mr. Cody? Yeah. Ms. Durfin? Here. Mr. Leonard? Mr. Mello? Here. Mr. Souza? Here. Ms. Janik? Here. Ms. Epley? Here. Mrs. Cook? Here. Mrs. O'Dell? Here. And Mrs. Driggs? Okay, th this session, as I sat and wrote the uh, agenda, was not as intuitive as, as the others. So, somebody can, can guide me along here. Uh, do we just go back through each of the budget presentations and discuss them, make any changes, vote on any changes, and then just progress through the 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 budget well, like I say, the first thing we have to do, in my my estimation, is find out what percentage that we have to cut out of here to get it under the cap. I, I don't like to do that. I don't think to cut to a percentage. I like to do it. Well, I like to do it and then come back if we have to, and and make any changes. I don't like a I don't like a target goal. That's me. I don't ever like budget budgets done that way or anything else. You do what you think is right, and if it falls within the cap, that's great. If it doesn't fall within the cap, we'll have to go back and, and do an additional changes. That's me. I'm not saying it has to be done that way. I agree with you. So, but. I, if I could make a suggestion. Absolutely. There are a couple of things. Um, I don't know if you covered them on Thursday night or not, but have we gone through the revenue? No, we no. do not. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Mello was in. Oh, there she is. There she okay. is. Right there. Um, before, if we, if that uh, goes up, can I make a suggestion though? And I, I'd like to ask the town administrator do you have any sort of preliminary report that says where we are vis a vis um, uh, in the overall picture? And the overall picture to me is. Um, does the as the tax assessor given us any preliminary figures with regard to the value of the tax data? And bottom line on what the levy is and uh, percentage increases, that's kind of what I had been wanting. Well, I know that's what everybody wants. I and so do I. Um, if not, okay. Yeah, no, David is, is working with Vision to complete our statistical okay. reval, and the data is being converted and imported over, and there's they're going to be on time, but they're going to hit the deadline pretty much square. We're not going to get an advance notice. Um, I can give you ballpark figures when's if it's helpful, or do you want me to not do that and just give you the final number when I have it? What's the deadline? That they well, I'd sort of like ballpark. Ballpark. I'm mindful of the fact that these are not final numbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it kind of helps. I don't think we're over the cap at all. But I, um, you know, it's nice to have some ballpark issue, I mean, figure before we begin to Norway. Sure. Um, the council's recommended budget, the school committee's recommended budget, taken together with uh, a tax, tax base increase of approximately 3%. Mm. Um, which still doesn't get us out of the woods. So the levy. Uh, it's going to be right around 3.6, 3.7% 3 increase over last year, if all things are held equal at this point. The levy? Is that, is that, what, the, uh, is that what the library bond totally not met? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And that, and you, to reach that, you have some preliminary number, though, for the value of the real estate tangibles. Correct. So what I'm saying, the real estate values would appear to be up about 3%. It's a very spotty experience. 
Um, so you would imagine. Um, we're very stable, it appears at this point, very stable in North Tiverton and some other parts of town. And then the, um, a lot of the waterfront, you're going to see some increases, greater than 3%, so the overall base should be up right around 3%. That doesn't, that just changes the rate. It doesn't change the levy. Well, so that's kind of my, I'm, I'm at this point, I'm, I'm a little more interested in the levy mm -hmm. and how you get to, uh, th you just said a 3.6% increase in the, is that the real property levy or the total? That's the total. It's the total. Okay. Yeah, we'll see very little, yeah, including tangibles. Tangible is not a big no. item in this town. Um, motor vehicle tax base is very stable. Okay. Almost no change there. What, about 50? Right, well, very close to last year. And we're a little bit more confident now than we were maybe a month ago. Don't really think the General Assembly is going to change that or us this year. How you value the motor vehicle? Correct. It's a very important debate to follow, though. It would have a significant impact upon us, just like the uh, settlement pension settlement discussions have a pretty significant impact upon the town. So. But not until next year. Not until fiscal 17, correct. Not until fiscal 17. Okay. So what did you get on your right. figures? <coughs> mine, mine um, um, just on um, real property, net levy, m mine was an increase of 3.3%, so it's in the same ballpark. Okay. But I, I did some adjustments to the revenue that I wanted to ask questions about if, if that's sure. okay. On I'm, I'm the top line, I do want to get into the minutia of it, but since we're having a top, you know, line just because I like to get into minutia. <laughs> um, the um, revenue report that was sent to us that I guess was blessed by the council. <coughs> this one, this starts off with page 20. The one um, you guys all yes, have. those should be the same numbers. Right. Um, oh, I think it was this one. Yes. That's where I got the one I did. I got it from the sheet that you got. All right, so what's your bottom line? So on your last page, You have projections, state and local sources, non-property tax should be $9,822,590. Yeah. That's what you're looking at. That's how you're looking at that. 9822590. So while it's formatted differently, it is the same. It would appear to be the same numbers. That's what I got. All right, then I put in the wrong number. Well, now, let me ask you a question, though. Um, the uh, the um, 9854090, um, do we, uh, the library, let me just take a look. Was is the, the library? Was, was not included, was yeah, it? Yeah, that's, this, when 309088 was not included in that figure. <clears throat> when I was going through the revenues, that's I, I, I didn't find a line item for the library bond reimbursement. I didn't know where to put it, and that's one of the questions I have for you but, all tonight. But it wasn't on it wasn't on the PDF that was emailed out. No. Nancy, Nancy Mello wrote in for library reimbursement three oh nine oh eight eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. And insurance stabilization, stabilization one twenty three. One twenty three. I but I'm not them. certain that if that, no, that belongs in the insurance line as a credit. That, that we can take we out, I think, from yeah. the revenue. That's not a revenue it's item. It's not in the revenue right now. Right? No. Right. And, and what is that be. number again? 123. Right. It's just 123 even? It's yeah. a credit. It's a credit. It's not a revenue item. It's so that on the health insurance? No, yeah, that yeah. credits so the so insurance line. Here. Well, it goes, it, it's off the expenses. It's a credit against the expenses. So I subtract. We'll get to that. Okay. You go back to your health insurance line. Yeah. Yeah. On the well, we can. I'll, we, I'll, it goes up in the state funding sources because it's a refund from. It's a reimbursement from the state. Okay. 
So the library bond reimbursement is 309-088. I was curious where the um, education aid of 5832234 came from, because I believe the number we got from the school committee was 5980785. Do you know where just, the just, just got a final report from the state. Fetch it, fetch it, fetch it. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> I was dare I comment on any education department line item ever? Well, I was, <laughs> yes. Well, I wanted to know where the number came from. Um, I could have written down the wrong numbers, but so. Yeah. We got a we got a report this past week from the state, uh, actually from Suzanne Greshner at uh, Municipal Affairs, mm -hmm. Department of Revenue, and it was the final aid numbers for this year. Now that I know who sent it to me, I can go run and give you a sense of what she. But I think that's where it's coming from. Okay, so it's, it's either from the budget that was given to you as a budget committee by the school department, or it's from that report from the state. So what's the number? The number that was used in the one that's on your report, Nancy, uh -huh. is the one you put in here, 5832234. Yep. Now, is it in? It must be in, in, your, in this new book, right? Yeah, but I don't know where I'm going to find it. I don't see it. Uh, normally, the school department uses the numbers from RIDE, and it's a calculation. I mean, now it's pretty stable. And what is the new figure, and when was it please receive? You don't know. I, I, you don't this know. is the school department budget. I, okay, Sally, it's, it's, you know? I don't have any numbers. I don't see so, a so it's still 5832234. Yeah, I haven't gotten any when we could, though. I could ask Doug tomorrow and send it along. Okay. Can you follow up, Sally? And um, because it's uh, it's about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars difference. Okay. Difference okay. from what? Yeah. With the number that I wrote down the night the school committee was here for state aid was five nine eight zero seven eight five. Versus the five eight three two two three four. So if that you know what I have the same that. thing. You have the three percent over current per funding formula. Right. So if you could check and make sure, so and, and and maybe um, Mr. Eric and you know, Mr. Fiore can circle back and, and and let us know why. That, you know, once if. If, if you're using the numbers from the state mm -hmm. revenue department and the school department is using numbers from live and they're different, that's fine. I mean, that happens. Yeah, I'm taking that back to it. It's not like you have to come to a consensus and say this is our best estimate. Mm -hmm. you know, if two state, different state departments are giving two different numbers, it doesn't come as a surprise. <laughs> But then again, I don't have these numbers now. I don't communicate these numbers to anyone. The numbers from the school department are coming from the right. business manager of the school department, where they should come from. So I would assume that. Keep the way number in there. I don't know where you... Well, they did tell me the other day that there were no changes from their budget submission. Well, that's, I know you were there meeting with them, and that's so what they told me. I, I don't. So. But I can check. Well, what, what they said was, what, what I wrote down here was, what he told us was, 3% over current per funding formula. So if the funding formula is the same, then I don't know how to write that discrepancy would come in. Okay. And you had the same thing. So we did the same thing. So we wrote down the same number. But if something new came in, I'll get it right back to you in the morning. Right. To the chair. Okay. And then the other thing I noticed that's going to be different, which you also picked up on, Nancy, is the prorated taxes. And we'll need to check with Mr. Robert, Dave Robert, the tax assessor, to see if 50000 for that is still a good estimate. And the re does everyone know why prorated taxes wouldn't be 
a line item revenue? Does anybody care? No, I'd like to know. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I think you may have changed that. You have to remember what you received from me is what the council voted on right. as they finally but I I believe that that did come to a change. Matt, you probably know that better than I do. The uncollected taxes, they went up to a hundred thousand because of a rebound year or something. The abatements? Yeah. The abatements, yeah, and the uncollected Yeah, I haven't, gotten to, I haven't gotten to abatements yet. Yeah. yeah. The I reason why prorated taxes aren't a revenue line item is because there are taxes that we, there are taxes that are, prorated taxes will go into the tax revenue line item. We don't estimate tax mm -hmm. revenue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are we talking about the no. No. no? no, I don't even know where it is. It's not it's not a revenue line item. I see what you said. Gotcha. Okay. Did yeah, and the abatements we'll have to check with uh, Mr. Roberts too because well, we can see if we can right during the revaluation years. Remember, there's a cycle in the revaluation, right? The first year after a revaluation. There's a, a, a much a substantially higher rate of uncollectible taxes because people are appealing their okay. valuation, and I think there's probably some sticker shock in there and what have you. And then, then it declines. It's like you know, it's this kind of activity. It's a wave. So last year, when we put in abatements of fifty thousand, as projected on the of 50,000, we were down here. We were the debt. It's actually double though, she's saying. Right, because Nick, it, the fiscal year we're budgeting for is the top of the hump. Okay. Okay. It goes from here to here, okay. down, up, down, up. So we're going to be up here. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Wait. Don't let me. Um, uh, we can just uh, uh, if we just include the library, you know, subject to f further refinement. I have ten million one sixty three one seventy eight. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm include the library from total from state sources. No, no, but the whole shebang. Say, say that for your hand, Louise. Ten million one sixty three one seventy eight. the whole revenue. Yeah, yeah. subject to any, uh, any adjustments from the assessor, yeah. And does that include the? Just the library. Doesn't include the, doesn't include the insurance stabilization figure that was noted on our revenues. Okay. <clears throat> does it include the school aid? <coughs> It doesn't use the school. No, I, I'm just working from this list. Subject, you know, can be. So uh, I, so the list that's here, the only thing we added back is the library 309088. That is correct. Why I come up with 10,131678. So it's nine in the forecast. It, I have nine eight two two five nine zero plus three zero nine zero eighty eight. Why do I have nine totals? Nine eight five four zero nine zero. Is that coming off the sheet that we received from Nancy? Yeah. I have nine eight two two five ninety. What's, your, what's the date on yours? What's the date on the report that you were getting the numbers from? This? Yeah. February 26, 2015. 
And the bottom line is nine, oh, this one? The bottom line was nine, eight, five, four, oh, oh nine, nine, nine. nine. Yeah. And if you add three, oh, nine to that. Oh, wait, I don't have. Doesn't tell No, it doesn't. Sorry. All right, so the so bottom line is 9854090 plus 309088. You come up with 1863178. So why is this not coming up? Sorry. Okay. Can we uh, at least, subject to any refinements that may come from the school department, can we leave revenues? Yes, if you'd like. Let me clarify something for you because I found the number you were looking at. You were looking at the general state aid estimate on the school department's budget called their, their tax cap calculation sheet. Which remember, as part of their budgeting exercise, they look at how much they could possibly spend under the tax cap. They don't actually ask for, or they don't necessarily appropriate that amount. They don't necessarily get that amount from the state. But I don't think I was looking at that. Where are you finding? Well, that's the only place I can see this. Five ninety one seventy five. Yes. Is that what you're I am in this blue binder. Right. And the pages are not numbered. Right. But I'm behind tab one. Okay. And almost at the end of tab one. Okay. Before the line item? Yeah, before you get to the line item detail, there's two sheets. One is a tax cap calculation, and the other one is oh, proposed is. budget summary. General state aid. Yeah. Yeah, general state aid, that's what they're using, 59807 Right, from, that's the number they got from Ryan. Oh, I know why there's a difference on the sheet I printed out and from this sheet. On the revenue budget, and tell me if I did this wrong, they, um, she had park programs the night that the lady Gill spoke to us, she said they're eliminating the Pocasset recreation, which yeah. takes out 16.5. Okay, we can. Okay. <coughs> well, we can either go through the revenue line items, you know, one by one, or, you know, just the estimated on this. Yeah, well, that's, you know. <coughs> But good, I, I'm glad that you found this paper. Thank you. So let's subtract. So, so bottom line, the real property levy would you know, if we adopt the budget as presented to us and use these revenue numbers. The net property, real property levy would be up a little over 3%. <coughs> Actually, a little over 3 points, yeah, closer to 3.5, 3.6. Wow. <coughs> I see an increase by my calculations. Municipal capital is down 15%, just expenses. Municipal capital is down 15%. Municipal operations is up 2.6. 2 Debt services up 14.9. And the total municipal capital operations and debt all together, municipal total expenses are up 4.5%. And school operation is up 1%. So smush all that together, put it in one big bucket, all the expenses, and total expenses are up 2.4% across the whole town. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we had yeah. last week for. Yeah, okay. We don't have them anywhere here. Okay. Because right I think we had 2.43 or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know. I went through um, just trying to move this along so that we begin to get some decisions. 
I went through using the 303 right. 15 uh, as to where there was disagreements that we had with, with the council on the numbers and then work. And there were actually a very few as you uh, uh, go through this. And as you think about it, I mean, there's a, just a very broad agreement on a lot of things. And where there, I mean, I, I just went through and checked off where we took preliminary votes mm -hmm. and where Nancy, when she got us this 3-3, three, three, um, you could almost do it on, on uh, there were subsequent adjustments uh, that were cuts in the capital budget. But there's probably maybe five or six areas or numbers that um, where we uh, are, are yeah we have a little discussion. Nothing major. One is the police pension plan. Um, uh, one is the uh, we took a preliminary vote on um, uh, the hot uh, the hot box. Hot box. Mm -hmm. um, the um, you adjusted downwards a couple of the cuts and put something back in. Uh, you know, it's in red on this sheet. But there's really broad agreement on where we are. Um, so we can go through this section by section or take the items where we have some disagreements with the council and discuss them amongst ourselves. Yeah, we, before we're done, I really think we should meet with the council and say, hey, here's where we are. We can, uh, you know, in our, uh, um, this is where we came out. Maybe there'll be a difference on the police page. Don't you make it a walkway? I don't know. We haven't taken the final votes yet. One of the minutes had a good summary of the change, provisional changes that we, that we recommended under the plan here. I don't know what, what day that was, but... On the, on the, on the police? No, I, just overall. We kind of went back and started and went through about five or six meetings. And I could probably find it. I have a note of what we... Well, probably about, I don't know, eight or nine line items. Mm. You know, something like that that, that we made some changes to. Nothing drastic, just... I mean, uh, really, the uh, salary then. One was the hot box. The treasurer's salary. The treasurer's salary, which was an yeah. increase. And uh, those, um, were, those were summarized in, in one of the minutes. But I have to go through my club thing. But I don't, I mean. But I, I think, I agree with you. It, 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 in reality, there's very little change. And I think we can save a lot of time if it's agreeable to people just go through and say, okay, here's what we recommended, different from what, and talk it through. From what the town and council and through. And, I mean, if there are a few other things that people have in mind, we can bring those up. Yeah. Alex? Well, I know I'm to make it. I'll give you some background. When we started with the third party bill, the consensus of the budget committee at the time was every four or five years, we were going to replace a rescue truck. And that was it. And then it seems to me that as soon as Judy started getting up to 500,000 or close to 500,000, it became a slush point. And we brought it up at the time, if we would have taken that money that she would bring it in and put that in a capital budget, mm -hmm. we could have bought everything in this town. <laughs> all, all the fire trucks, the ambulances and everything. No finance charges. We're paying over $225,000 to finance charges now. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. We're just taking this ambulance, we're just pushing it out for that little further. Yeah, and, and I don't know. I don't, I don't, know, I don't, know, how don't know, know how we get to the point where we can start putting money away into a capital fund and restrict it to capital. I, I, don't, I don't know the process for doing that with it. Has to be a vote in the town council to establish that account. Is it something we just? I mean, it's not our vote. Well, we can. Well, we can it. In fact, I was going to offer like, next well, week. I thought we had done that. Yeah. Next week. Traditionally. We haven't done it, but I, I'll. In my head, I have an idea on. It's sort of talking it through as to how to do it. But I'm going to put that in resolution form for okay. discussion. 
Fine. I don't have it described me next week. But just as a razor way at how to do it. And we can kick it around if it doesn't make it no win, no win. Um, but yeah, we've got the capital, a capital equipment fund, and, and to my mind, I, I'd like to consider a, a restricted paving program. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, Alex, um, we kind of talked about it. We went to the fire department and found out how much was coming in um, that we were we were putting so much on our interest payments yep. that we should just be buying things with cash. And the answer always seems to be, well, it needs to go to the general fund. It, there just wasn't any, I can't get any rhyme or reason why we keep doing something over and over again and don't it's change the way we do it. Because that's the way the county works. Yeah. All yeah. of us do go to the general fund. It has become a revenue that's needed in the general fund. Just like any, any other residents. Yeah. That's where it started off and that's where everybody's gotten used to it and it's become well, part of it. Yeah, it's going to be that, hard to separate it, that, unfortunately. That's, that's what I mean. And so instead of paying cash for things and keeping up with yeah. our capital problems, yeah. we just kind of yeah. do half a week or something. Yeah. And it, it's just ridiculous. Well, it would be uh, uh, lovely if uh, all the money, it's like saying school construction, school aid. Should that just go to the schools? We'd be out of business if it, <laughs> if it did. Um, you know, it comes into the pot, just as Joe said, that you were sitting upon. For all our uses. That's, yeah, it's my argument that I've said over and over and over again. If you earmarked and targeted revenues to be spent only where they came from, <laughs> we would have no police. We, I you know? Like that. Yeah, because Nancy brings in all the revenue. We'd yeah. have 50 town clerks, 25 building inspectors, and the police. So it, it's the way it works. Yeah. Well, is there, well if, if you want to set aside money, Somehow it's just can, can you establish enterprise funds or something along those lines and money comes in directly to them? Uh, it's tricky, not with a general fund. I, I think I think that sort of flies in the face of, uh, oh, of what how we're set up. Uh, how, how many, you know, it's, it's like fire receipts are for the fire department, and that and that is just not school receipts are for the school department. <coughs> Nancy's receipts are for the town clerk. I mean, you can't run the town like that. What else? You know, no, which is actually but the, certain things, certain things. Can be can certain revenue be earmarked? Yeah, but, uh, well, it should be. But all unexpected without revenue going into the general fund, or does it go into the general fund and then a paper company that's deposit into yeah. the common best practice would be you start. You can build up a capital improvement right. fund however you want to, but your start should be all unexpected revenues, one-time deeds, sale of property. You know, uh, uh, sudden windfall, uh, refunds back that you didn't expect. And anything that's not part of the ongoing operating budget, that you, should, you should be able to see your capital improvement program with that. And you have that opportunity with the industrial park. And how does that come about relative? It should be a resolution. Is that a town council? No, we make a resolution. Yeah. Okay. The people who voted, yeah, so the we will the will of the Does the charter have to change? In order for us to do that. Why would the charter need to change? Well, if you have to change the charter to run the finances. Oh, because all revenues go into the general fund. Mm. How do you usurp the charter with a, with yeah, right. a policy or a resolution? Well, that's my question. That's why I'm asking that question, because it seems like it has to be more yes. than, than just mm. something here. I would agree. Yeah. If, if, if that is in the charter, then my, my guess would be that you have to have a charter resolution to to make that change, but you know, I've never operated within a town charter before. So. Excuse me. Perfect example is the paving account. We went and rolled it over to be used for paving, and it went, went by the wayside for other things. So there's got to be some other better way because it seems like no matter what you put on it, no matter what you put on it, it gets it doesn't get used for what it's supposed to. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, I think you have to look at that very carefully and very specifically because you could earmark so many things that you never have the opportunity to 
right. get through the fiscal year. Right. Uh, you'd be playing with money and transfers and so on. You're right. There's certain money that, if certain accounts that maybe can be earmarked because you know you're going to need them. You know they need to be done. Ten thousand in there. And maintenance yeah. accounts are some of the, the best ones to do it with because that's one of the first things that gets bastardized when you need money. Oh well, we'll just defer maintenance till next year and next year yep. and next year, and you end up with the uh, senior citizen center yeah. that we exactly. saw because somebody always has a higher priority right. and convinces a board, be it whatever board, to do this because it's an immediate need mm -hmm. and the plan for the future. So that, that's why I bring up the capital one specifically because the capital account, if it's done correctly, is going to have a lot of money in it and, and it's going to be a target. That's right. Okay, for everybody, mm -hmm. any, any but department. But they can be restricted. That's what I mean. Yeah. And, and those are the, it, you know, I don't think you can operate with a lot of those accounts, but I think we need to consider, or we need to consider, some very real restricted accounts that decent amounts of money go into, and you know, without a doubt, we're going to need that's you know, the paving, the, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, We've set up a few over the, okay, year, okay. Over the past couple of years. Okay. We set up the election account okay. for the town clerk. We Green set up the rebate oh, account. And okay. the well, you keep field. doing it, so there's nothing. You didn't change the charter to do that. No, you can, you can set up restricted accounts. There's nothing in the charter that says you can't recommend and the people can vote on restricted accounts. What is in the charter is that all revenues shall go into the general fund. So there's two separate sure, items that we're discussing. One is restricted accounts. One is what do you do with revenue that comes into the general fund. And earmarking that for a specific purpose is problematic. You've got to have one account just for capital equipment. Because the biggest target items and a fire truck's five hundred thousand. One can the count, yeah. And you can't be taking that out out of the capital account to shingle the roof for something no. else. No. It's gonna be strictly for buying uh, like for the highway department, the bulldozers and stuff like that. Well most places that I've been have a very strict definition of capital. Right. For what you can use it for, and it's usually it's usually wrapped around dollar value and uh, life expectancy. Anything over two years, three years, five years, over fifty thousand dollars. I mean, I'm just laying out numbers, but you have some very specific parameters. You can't, you don't sit there when the money comes in and, and lay it on Denise to decide. Well, hmm, is this going to be capital or not? You got to have some. Mm, you got to have some very specific yeah, guidelines. guidelines. And then, as as Laura said, if if there's and, and I don't, I have no clue as to what this dollar value is, but unanticipated receipts, and you, 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 uh, you feed that money into the, into the capital account. I don't know how much money that would be, but, but that's well, got to be a policy. That's got to be a charter change. You know, and or a charter change or whatever. That's and that was my question earlier. Can you direct my attention to where it is in the charter? It's in the back. Where is it? Page thirty-four, section twelve, fourteen. Twelve, fourteen. Collected by the town. Fees. All fees, penalties, payments, and miscellaneous sources of revenue, including but not limited to vending machines, copy machines, and recreational activities, plus by town officials or agencies, and then blah, 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 shall be deposited to the general fund of the town. Now, at the same, along the same lines, do does somebody, a political body in the town, have the ability, and this is maybe the resolution that you're talking about, that those monies that come in, granted they come into the general fund, but they're immediately transferred on paper from the general fund to the capital account. No, no, no. It cannot no, be done. No. Well, that's, my point. that's what I'm getting at. What's the method of the capital fund? Well, we're, actually, we're actually probably overdue for a new charter commission. I'll review the charter, and that's when changes can be made. Okay. I, it, you know, I'm sorry, but okay. I'm, I'm very impatient when we get into 
We can't do something that's really smart and necessary for the town yeah. because we can't make the language work. This is, you know, <laughs> fees, penalties, and miscellaneous sources of revenue is kind of a, you know, we're not going to take these little drips and jabs from the use of a piece of equipment. But we're talking about a major significant policy that the town needs. And I, you change each other if you need to, but I don't think it's, I don't know. Well, I think either way, you, you <laughs> need to be I don't think that's what that's saying. And, and the thing is, we've always surplus over the year. If we have anything left, most of it, everything from DPW is earmarked. If there's any surplus of DPW, it's earmarked for paving. Mm -hmm. So somehow, somewhere, yeah. you know. That was but, a resolution. Anyway, I keep hearing behind me. Look, think past the technical problems that stumble you up yes. and just fix I, I it because you've got to do this. Well, and so, what, you know, the notion is... Well, we haven't always done it. Well, no, break it. Do it, again. do it over. <laughs> I think the new well, idea that we're thinking about, rather than doing it by saying unexpected income that may or may not come in, right. to follow with the tenant and the underlying intent that all monies go into the general fund, if at the end of the year there is a surplus, monies have not been spent that were allocated to be spent, a certain portion of that be returned and put into a capital fund. Rather than locked in the rather unrestricted going, general fund. Rather than going right. into the unreserved general fund. I think that needs to be, I think the wording of that needs to be played with though because what you, what you said, it may not have been a yeah. Look, yeah, we're not going to rewrite the charter tonight, right? Well, it's going to have budget to get yeah, it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And can we go well, back to the essentials? But uh, we're I not mean, going to discuss not, it, then let's just not discuss it at all. Well, well if Ms. Duffy has a resolution, we're going to get through this. We only have a couple of more meetings. We only have about 10 items to go through if we didn't follow your guidelines of uh, yeah, I'm looking at all these items. I've got the, uh, I've got the 12, what is it, February 12th minutes, and there's provisional votes, the provisionally approved department totals as recommended by the town administrator slash town council, as otherwise noted, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, and there's Two of those items that were the motions were to increase the treasurer's line item by twelve hundred and twenty dollars and the budget committee's budget by oh I'm sorry two one thousand two hundred and fifty and, and those are the only two the rest of them we we voted provisional approval the way they were presented and then you get back in then you get into the so the one I know because I did it was the the um, Hot blocks. Uh, there haven't been very many. On, on February 4, that meeting, <coughs> we provisionally approved the town council, the town administrator, yeah. uh, legal services, legal services, um, yep. municipal court. Uh, that was the meeting where we provisionally voted to increase the treasurer's salary. Yeah. Um, I had a question actually. I think we provisionally approved insurance. Yes. And I wasn't sure whether we just also did the audit of town account amount. Yes, I had that as, as done. But we hadn't provisionally approved pension plans that I know of. Right, we had. Okay, right. The law. And then. Um, we provisionally approved, uh, what did you say, Louise? Because I have definitely Social Security, but did we also provisionally approve that poll, page 11, Social Security, unemployment, unfunded, sick, and budget committee? I did. We did Social Security as well, because I don't have it. That's not in these minutes. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we have unemployment, unemployment, budget committee, and, and then on 303, the spreadsheet we got for that meeting, um, we provisionally voted a unanimous vote to put a hot box. Yeah. Um, 
thing I would say is if you could just go by, you know, like each one, like municipal capital, and, and, and stop and kind of look, and then, so, so in case there's something that somebody finds there that we could, rather than just saying, well, we're visionary, we kind of this kind of, and take a, a, a final vote. I'd just like to, that's it. Well, I think we have to take a final vote on all of these, because we specifically said they were provisional. Right, right. So, so we're going to take okay. those and, right. and specifically. I think we had a discussion that night on the Harbor Master, assisted. Yep. Yes, we did. We, yes. Um, that was later than... It seemed like we said it was sort of a no-brainer maybe to put it back in. $2,000. Yeah. 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 We voted on that last week. Was that last week? To put the 2000 back yeah. in? Okay. Well, so, I'd say the ones that we did were very, very minor. Very I'm minor not changes. sure we... I don't have a record that we provisionally approved um, anything with police or fire. We did police. We did police. The police salaries and operating expenses, right? Right. And, I we, mean, did, and we did fire and operating, but we held off on the fire salaries okay. because there was still so that's why I have that number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I just clarify two line items before we go any further? Yep. Rubbish recycling, the adjusted number. What page? I'm on page 17 of the revised the final <coughs> council recommendation. Yeah, 625919. Page, page 17 okay. of the 3 3 revised. The original rubbish collection number was 697545. That revised number is 625919. Right. Okay, so we. That number has been reduced by seventy-two thousand. Well, that's the one that Steve recalculated, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that that's what we calculated the total. And just so you know, on the six twenty-five, six twenty-five nine one nine is the revised number. Yeah. 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 For the expense thing, I handed out. It's in yes. There. I noticed yeah. that, which I very much appreciate. Okay. Well, I don't but think the, we ever voted on that, did we? No. 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 The, the difference. In the back. In the and he did. Back yeah. the numbers. Yeah. Right. The difference is seventy-two thousand, right. which is six hundred. I mean, that's you know substantial. Then, back on page ten for the insurance for the hundred and twenty-three thousand health insurance credit, mm -hmm. are we reducing that recommended amount of two million one fifty-four six hundred by one hundred and twenty-three thousand? Yes. Okay. So that number. I'll make a motion to, well, that final number, if my math is right, which is very well could not be, because it's pencil. It's 2031600. Mm -hmm. Would someone check that math, please? 600. So two one five four six hundred minus one twenty three. That's right. Okay, so expenses are lowered by two hundred thousand. So that's one hundred and twenty three thousand difference, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, what are the town accounts? So it's got no number there. Yes. Did, did we come up with a number there? It's, yeah, it's in this number. It's in I mean, we may not have voted on it yet, but no. Do you want to just go through it page by page and decide which ones were controversial and talk about well, them? Well, yes. we need to do something methodically. Yes. Right, so let's not go page by page. Yeah. It's yeah. fine with me. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I think I'm going to make a motion we group certain things. For example, on page, um, I'd be willing to just go to the operating accounts starting on page 5, although I... I you want to start with capital? I would like to wait on capital. I'd like to wait on capital. 
I'd like to make a motion that we approve the following budgets. Finally, the town clerk's office, the town council, the town administrator, the board of canvases, town hall operating expenses, legal services, municipal court, and probate court. I'm sorry, plus code enforcement. Change the town clerk's salary? No. That's already in there, right? Mm -hmm. So it's 257 yeah. for the town clerk. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so where's the town clerk? Page, Page five. five. Page so we're looking at the town clerk, town council, town administrator. Yep. Okay. So yeah, right through, right through uh, probate. Uh, right through page up to the planning uh, uh, through code enforcement okay so i'll make a motion i'll, I'll make a motion yes. to approve town clerk office total budget of 257881 town council total budget 217 800 town administrator total budget of 166401 board of canvassers total budget of 28100 Town hall operating expenses of 31,900, legal services of 262,000, municipal court total expenses of 26,148, probate court total expenses of 10,800, code enforcement total expenses of $121,806. And what's the board of canvases again? 28,100. That included the additional uh, 20,000 for elections. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what was it? 20,000 20, for elections. Is there a second? No. Second. Thank you. But can I ask where the 20,000 for elections came in there? It, it was initially in Nancy's budget, and she, she said, really, it should be under the Board of Elections, and it just got taken out of her. And uh, so, yeah. From one to the other. Right. Okay, I'm going to save time on my motion. Uh, I'm going to make a motion that we oh, approve the. Go ahead, go. Well, we should vote on that motion. Yeah, first. go ahead. <laughs> okay, John. What's that? The motion that was been made up for those of any, any further discussion on those? On accepting those? Approving those? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? You said we're approving all of them? The ones that we just listed. Well, first of all, I can't um, I can't uh, vote on legal uh, services, so that's why I have to take them separate. Well, just uh, just, uh, just uh, I, I say I will vote for everything, but I will recuse myself on and legal services. Well, but suppose I'm but she no, she I'm vote in well, between. She and, then, you know. well, but then that's what I'm asking. Is that if, if if you say you want to go through individually, then we'll go through them individually. Well, that's fine. Either. That's fine, yeah. right? Okay, well then I'll... Uh, so. All right, then. All right. I'll withdraw my motion. Well, you can do it and just say, I am voting no on X, Y, and Z. I think you can, but that's up to you. you. If you're not comfortable doing that, we'll do it individually. All right, I'll make a motion. Mm -hmm. I'll make I, a that, that's beside the point. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the town clerk's office total budget of 257881. Second that motion. 57, 81. Come on, John. All in favor, all opposed? Aye. Aye. Make a motion to approve $217,800 for the town council. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? You're opposed. I'll move. Yeah. I'm sorry, we just voted on town council? Correct. Yes. Yeah, I'm opposed to it. Can I ask? Okay. Town administrator. Town administrator, motion to approve $166,401. Second. All in favor? All opposed? Unanimous. Um, motion. To approve twenty eight thousand one hundred for the total budget for the board of canvassers. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? 
Uh, any opposed? Unanimous. Uh, motion to approve 31900 for town hall operating expenses. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. aye. Unanimous. Abstain. Abstain, so it's 901. Motion to approve 262000 for legal services. Second. Second. Uh, discussion? Can I ask a quick question on this? Yeah. Did we hire a new attorney? Um, I think I read in the paper today that we did. I didn't see the paper. And the salary is the same? Tony okay. DeSisto. No. Um, the rate structure is going to be substantially different. So, so how do we figure that in here? How will it impact no, the budget? This, <laughs> we just did this last night, so. Skip over that idea. Yeah, yeah, I can't. It. Well, they skip over it, I guess. No, just go back to it. I'd rather um, it seems to you just to just not consider it tonight and come back. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Then we'll okay. we'll not consider that one. Okay, I'll withdraw that motion. That'll come back. That'll come back when we've got some set figures. Yeah, the the, the, close the attorney's rates are different. One is lower, one is higher. Okay. It may balance out, but the different line items should be should reflect Okay. Labor will be higher, generally be lower. All right. That's so we'll fine. have something next week. So yeah. legal services will abstain on from right now. Move to the following week. Uh, municipal court. I'll make a motion to approve twenty-six thousand one hundred forty-eight dollars total sure. expenses for municipal. Moved and seconded. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 Move ten thousand eight hundred dollars for probate court total expenses. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nancy? Okay. Sorry. That's all right. And I'll move. I just want to make sure I don't miss somebody. I'll move $121,806,000 for total expenses for COVID enforcement. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Mm -hmm. Any opposed? That's unanimous. That's 806. 121 Can I ask a, just a basic question? Yeah. When I add some of these up, sometimes uh, it'll come out like 806 or 805. Is that just because there's a rounding off somewhere? So it doesn't much matter as long as it's like you had 806? Are any of these numbers calculated or are they literal numbers? I was. Yeah, we can talk. Okay, about that's what I need. Mean. Yeah. order for 806, okay. right? Yeah. A lot of your salaries are calculated to the penny. Yeah. Right. Can, the budget committee can, moved many years ago to eliminate the pennies. pennies. We don't see the pennies, but they're in, they're, they're in the spreadsheet. Well, it's, 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 I take them off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take them off. I'm lazy. I don't want spreadsheets running. I round it, and then chop up, you know, I round it, and take those pennies off because they really ruin your totals. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Well, that's all well and good, but you can't have engineering help that is provided, whether it's Commonwealth engineering or some other projects that are before the town. It is the planning or the planner does not have that experience. I'd be glad to have the planner come in and see, are you an engineer? Can you really work on the kind of engineering that needs to be done, whether it's stormwater, etc.? This is not a new thing. This is not something, it is just a recognition of certain boards in the town need that kind of expertise. expertise. Louise, are you saying, should we have expected the planner to be able to perform the service? Well, just Mr. Wojcik said they were taking out all consultants because they were having a full-time plan. Yeah, we get a bunch of issues so, swirling around that are not related to one another. So I do not believe that Commonwealth is compensated out of the consulting services zoning line. Well, there's a, there's that's a, not what that's for. Professional and technical services. Correct. In both the planning department and the planning board. Now that seems to overlap with what somewhat of what Louise was saying. Where you have you bring in an engineer to, to that you don't have engineering expertise on board. That seems like that's the same as professional and technical services. I, I don't know. You have a major project. That's mine. Whether it's in the industrial park or whether it's the Carpionado development. It's a very large development, and the town needs to protect itself no matter what happens on something like that. And um, I think there is money we can find. It's not going to increase the numbers here. I think we can find the money on other appropriations. But I think that's something that the uh, uh, we should at least honor the department head. Yeah, I think you're in the wrong line, though. Well, that's fine. I'll add it to someplace else. Oh. I, didn't cut, I didn't cut the line for Commonwealth because they're absolutely essential. Yeah. There are safety. Okay, then it's going to be somewhere else, maybe. Right. With this this line, consulting services zoning. Right now, the firm that's been retained is uh, the Cecil Group, and they provide best practices around the classification of land, the creation of use tables, and all of those activities. And whether or not you know planning expertise on what zone should be located, what next to what, and what regulations would cover the existence of certain uses in certain zones, and that's that's I why we have a planning ordinance needs to be redone. Correct. And there's no question about that. So, so we're that's not going to be done. I think solely by a planner. Exactly. It's just not going to happen after the comprehensive plan, is done, <laughs> which I believe we're done with. Which is why we're taking out those expenses. We're not we're done with the comprehensive plan. We're not. No. I mean, it's not. It's either, it's in its draft stages. But I know. Hold on for a minute, because it was my understanding that the reason why. We do not have to fund the comp plan update consultant comprehensive plan mapping is because the bulk of it was done and the comp plan is due to be done in this, this, fiscal this year. upcoming fiscal year. Well, upcoming I, fiscal year. Uh, this fiscal said it has to be done in May. There's but no deadline on when it has to be done. Well, what my, okay. Well, my, okay. my point is, is that after the comprehensive plan is done, right. then the zoning rewrite kicks in, yep. and you cannot do a zoning rewrite with a planner that's supposed to be focusing on planning only. I mean, he's got, or she, he or she has, in my mind, a broader set of responsibilities and duties that all come under the umbrella of planning, one of which is to help with the zoning rewrite, but not to spend 10 hours a day, five days a week, working on the technical language of zoning now, you covered that pretty well, I thought, when we did the budget, but I don't remember the absolute details. Going into it. Right, I, I just, I'll be blunt, I don't support the use of consultants in the planning department. If you want to put $10,000 in somewhere, put it in a land use attorney's line so we can actually use legal expertise to write the code properly, because that's what's so screwed up. But the zoning maps themselves and the policy decisions on what goes where, that's what a planner is supposed to be doing. And it, it's redundant. 
have both, and I'd rather have somebody who's here under my thumb than some professional charging me a fully loaded contract cost. But I leave that up to, yeah, yeah, I don't have a vote on this no, no, but that's what I recommend. Your point is that that's what you think the planner, that's what you, you view that as a major responsibility of the planner. My expectation is that a proactive land use attorney working with a proactive planner will accomplish this task without having to use this line item with a consultant. And is that included in legal is that, So is that over in legal fees? No. Well, where is it? Can I? You said, you said an attorney. No, I'm saying, if you're insisting on spending the money, come in there and I'll spend the money. <laughs> but I'm expecting an accounting. Attorney working with the planner. So where's the attorney fees? It's in, it's in your budget. I mean, it's, 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 I'm going to try to get more out of these people than we've been getting. It is, in, it is covered Correct. in legal fees. So in your mind, to your satisfaction, it's covered. The, the money that will be spent for legal services in the planning process. In legal, right. legal zoning issues. Is that so what that's, you're that's, No, that's your, that's your fees, yeah, that's your that's fees the, for the guy who's the zoning board of review. Can, but, I, can I ask, as long as you brought up the legal, uh, the land, expertise, legal land expertise. Have we hired a, we have hired a new attorney? Yes. Do they have land use experience yes. and expertise? Okay. It is, okay. it is the same firm that would also be the solicitor, the general solicitor to the town council. Same individual. Same firm. Is this, can we just, was this all discussed at the council meeting? Yeah, it's open. It was open last night. Okay, so it's all open. Yeah. Where, where, um, to the system. I'm sorry? Anthony DeSisto. And his firm is? Anthony DeSisto Law Associates. Oh, it's an individual that we hired? Yeah. No, oh, he's it's a firm. Okay. okay. He's the lead partner. And his experience with land use is? Right. He's been a solicitor for different towns for many years. Town Council President Barrington for years. Has but but specifically with land use and zoning regulations, has he had a lot of experience with that? Uh, I mean, we just went through a week full of interviews, of course he does. No, but whether it was or not, it's already been approved right. and appointed, so. Yeah. Well, that's the list of this is on. That's why we're moving this way now. I, I'm simply asking, as it relates to what you brought up, yeah. if you have a proactive, experienced land use attorney along with a proactive planner, the two of those bodies together can accomplish what but might have been accomplished by a consultant. Right, that's what I So believe. what I was asking is, you are clearly comfortable that the attorney you hired has the land use experience you need, so you don't need another 10,000 to hire a different lawyer is what I'm getting we're, Yeah, we're agreeing. Okay. Yes. Can I just respond to that? Because I, whether you call it zoning or whether you put it under professional technical services, I think there's additional monies that needed to be put in the planning board. You can't have a sensible protection of this town if that Carpionato proposal passes mm. without stormwater issues being resolved, mm -hmm. hydrology, a whole gamut, and that's not the role of a planner. And it's not the role of a lawyer. They're not engineers. Right. So where we I think you're cutting it short. And what if it doesn't go to Well, well when you can I wouldn't that be nice, but it's not just that. It is a, another project will come forward uh, through the town. And at least if the money's not used, fine. But if they need the technical support and maybe I should have put it under professional technical services, but the town needs to have that. Or we're at the mercy of anybody who wishes to do anything within the town. <coughs> well, right now you're funding that out of 1077198. So that's your professional technical services line. That's the Frequently, Commonwealth Engineering's costs or, or fees to the town are reimbursable expenses. So this 5000 has been sufficient to this point in the history of the town <laughs> to have Commonwealth do the work they do, which is a lot. And what is this? Who, who's paying Cecil? The planning board. The planning board out of this account? Not out of this account. Out of the consulting accounts. Okay, okay so they're... Uh, so they're currently paying the Cecil group out of the... 
the 1070 XXXXX account? Yeah. On page seven? Oh. Page eight. Page eight. Say that again. Page seven, one more page seven. The, the, the consultant services zone that we've been discussing. Is right that, is that, that the, the current Cecil Group one? Is that Cecil Group? Is that being paid? Which account is that being paid out of? You have it the comp plan update. So at seventy one forty five. Right. That ten thousand. Well there is no ten thousand for that. Because it's the white ten seventy seven forty five company is she's asking me where is it being paid now? Oh where yes. ten thousand right. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. What's the current account number for consulting services zoning that you want to get rid of? I only had ten seven. It was there. If there's no there's no issue. It hasn't been assigned an account okay. number. I don't know why. Do we have a history on that account? No. This is the first year was appropriated is this year. That's only one. Right. But so the, the yeah, it's never year to date because one of these accounts is unexpended at this point. Um we have up to February twenty eighth, I believe. Yeah, well I I'm just I'm, I'm having find installed from the yeah, I gotta I gotta find it so I can just <laughs> <laughs> Would it be dependent on where um, or what project they'd be working on? Or which account the money is taken out of? Correct. There, there has been no, this money was appropriated, but there is no project right now to rewrite the zoning code. Nobody's been tasked with it, there's been no effort against it. There is. It's the biggest secret in town hall. I don't think there's too many of those. Right, but they, they are being paid. The CISA group does go to meetings. They are consulting. But there are, it's a comprehensive plan update consultant line. That $10,000 contract was awarded to them and has been almost fully expended okay. at this point. So that's, I think, what I'm asking. Yeah. That's the first thing. He's saying for consulting mm -hmm. services and zoning, nothing's happening mm -hmm. with that. He thinks it's just sitting there. Well, that's what I'm trying to find here today. Okay? I can't find my dates right I don't have it in February right here, but I gave him a January one just to see if I'm. Do you have yeah, that's, yeah, I just gave it to me. As of January 31st, that nothing has been expended out of the zoning line. Okay. All right, so, so that's it's what is that account number? 1070 XXX. Well, this, uh, uh, when this program was generated, it looks like Denise had assigned a line to this. 1070 7157. Thank you. Okay. And uh, out of that account, how much has been expended? Nothing. Zero. Uh, nothing. And what has been expended out of the 7145 account? That's changed since January. So yeah, what, there, there was a, there was a, about, of course you would ask after I've walked away from the page. <coughs> and now Madeline's copies is falling apart. 177145. Nobody else has the bedroom in it? I, I don't know where I put it. There's 1,500 expended as of the end of January, but that's changed because the work is being done here because this is the individual who shows up at planning board meetings and discusses the comprehensive plan amendments as part of the copying out of proposal. It's all within budget. Okay. It's all within budget. Yeah, because it was a contract. There's a schedule of work and a limit to the okay. spending on that line. 1260 has been spent and there's no 48. Okay. Um, what was that one? Yeah. It was a $10,000 appropriation. So we went for one. That's the tax collector. Mm -hmm. Planning board. Mm -hmm. So we would not have any kind of a history of the 7,000. But I think it's changed since. Yeah. Yeah. The professional technical services line. I uh, I'd be yeah. glad to amend and put the ten thousand dollars there, and not uh, 
you think you've covered on something, but all I'm saying is when you have some of the technical issues that come up at the hearings, the, the planning board will say, we'll discuss that at the preliminary level. And on it, on it goes, but the preliminary is, is going to have sizable technical issues if it gets to that point. Right. Um, but, and they're going to need a help, and I, there's no sense in stripping them. I may not agree with the planning board and what they do, but I got to tell you, it, I'm not in favor of stripping them so that they don't have the expertise they need. So you're saying put it in the consulting services sure. learning line? Yes. I agree with what, what we Ms. Murphy is suggesting, but I don't want to put it in the zoning line. I want to put it in professional technical services and so that people understand that. I will amend and put, uh, increase the technical services to 15, but it means a bottom line of 30, same thing. Yep, same, same bottom line. So, so people understand from time to time, the engineer from Commonwealth will babysit and has to because contractors have not been honest with us on many different occasions in our time. This person goes, watches the installation, watches the materials being used, actually requires testing of film materials right on the spot and ensures compliance with our contracts. And Commonwealth has saved our necks over at the library because the one contractor who needs to be babysat. And um, I agree, uh, the planning department planning board didn't ask you for this money, but you make a good point. If the project is approved, it would require a very significant number of hours to be invested. So what did the town council approve? It's a big project. 20? What they sent you. No, the, the bottom line, 20,000 for that? 20. Planning board? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to increase it 15,000. No, we're going to increase it to 30. We're going to increase it to 30. And uh, change so the professional tech to services. No. We're just adding ten thousand to professional, professional tech services. Well, it's just going to be fifteen thousand total. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh okay. We're not adding fifteen thousand to it. Right, just to be clear, your seventy-one eight line will go from five thousand to fifteen thousand. Your yeah. bottom line will increase from twenty to thirty. Got it. I'll move the question. I took your staple. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll study. <laughs> Who's the question? All right. All in favor of adding the ten thousand dollars? I'm going to be in favor. Mostly because the consulting services, and, you know, whether that request by the planning board went in the fifteen, you know, the fifteen thousand request went in that line or another line. Can the pro raise their hands again so I can get a Can I ask a question? Is it possible to? Well, no, actually, you can't because no. we've already called the question. So I hate to. Be really stickler, but that's yeah. what moving the question does. So, who's in favor, Joe? See? All opposed? Okay, so that uh, that passes eight to two. Who, who seconded the motion? Uh, the the move the question I did. Who seconded Louise's motion? Alex. Alex. Okay. Okay, I will move four thousand dollars for zoning board of review. Public snobber. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Aye. Everybody's in favor. I'll make a motion that the EDC uh, appropriation be approved in the amount of fifty one hundred dollars. Could I add to have a discussion on that or this? Well, do we have a second? I would like to. Oh, hold on, hold on. Alex, Alex, Alex had a second. Any discussion? Yeah, discussion. I would like to amend the motion to say that the expense budget is fifty-one hundred. We're not appropriating monies for the EDC. <laughs> that's fine. I'm yeah, sorry, that really bugs me. <laughs> okay. Okay, so why, recommend why it not be fifty-one. Fifty-one hundred total well, expenses. It's not appropriate, and why is it in here? What we're recommending. We're recommending for that approval. the expense budget for the Economic Development Commission be fifty-one hundred dollars. Isn't that what you've been doing? What am I missing? Hey, you're nothing. What? I'm just being a jerk. 
<laughs> Ms. Epkins being a purist, only the people appropriate through the financial time referendum, yes. all you do is recommend. The motion <laughs> is 51. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Seconded by Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Further discussion? Yeah. Um, I just think that um, brochures, pamphlets, advertising, uh, special products and events, I think those those are too high because I don't really see in, over the last few years of what we've really gained from any of this brochures, pamphlets, advertising, pressure, projects and events. I don't see any you know, business growth from it. And I just, we're looking to save a few bucks here and there to put somewhere else. I think we should cut this. Okay. All in favor of $5,100? Aye. One, two, three, four, five. I'll, I'll be in. Well, uh, come on, let's go. I so you got to wake up. I had it up. Okay. I can't see it. Oh, sorry. I can't see it past Deb. <laughs> All opposed? Okay, I'm going to make a motion well, that. Well, 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 well. So that passed six to four. Okay, next. I'm going to take the rest of the page. I'm going to make a motion that the town sergeant appropriation be $1,500 and the financial town referendum be $12,000. Second. Second. Yes. All, any discussion? All in favor? All opposed? All in favor? Everybody's in favor? I'll make a motion that the tax assessor um, recommended amount be 156,706. Second that. Motion seconded. Discussion. All in favor? Go ahead. Yeah. I'll make a motion. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All in favor? All opposed? Okay, it's unanimous. I'll make a motion that the reval account. The recommended amount be 53000 Second. Second. Okay. Oh, discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Unanimous? Uh, what are we doing? Now, the treasurer. Did you, 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 we in, you put it in here, didn't we you? We increased the, we made a motion to increase the yes, but treasurer by 1220. Nancy Drake, probably put it right in the building. It did because the, the see, so it said it couldn't be done. <laughs> Do you have a bottom line of 194 279? No, 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 it's not in there, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, where's tonight's copy? What, what bottom line do you have? 193059. Yeah, but, but that included the that includes it. Okay. It does. I will. I'll make a motion that no, no, no. we. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. 67,195. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. 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 Y
that we reduce the audit of town accounts 22,000 oh. under oh, the motion. That's right. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed? 22,000. Okay. Thanks for catching that one, Laura. Okay. Next one is the police pension for which there will be discussion. I'm, sure. I'm going to make a motion that we reduce the appropriated amount by 100,000. To six hundred thousand. And is there a second to that? I second. Oh, second. Okay, okay. The moved and seconded. Discussion? Wings? Yes. Um, and looking at the actuarial report. <coughs> Excuse me. Which you want to fall asleep at night. This is the thing. Mine's on the right table. Party at the actuary's house. <laughs> really good stuff. But please, I got some. I'm gonna do some peen if you want to pull the next page, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, without getting it out and reading it, it seemed to me that that amount would cover the recommended <laughs> contribution. What it would mean then that the members, if they, we project the members' contribution into the plan, it would come to an overall appropriation of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And um, uh, so, my thought on that was um, that in this year, as we try to cover what we have to cover do some of the things that we would like to do, the hot box, the, um, uh, some of the other issues that we've been increased, that um, we have met our obligation. I think the gains in the account in the police have been substantial. Um, I'd not recommend it perhaps for another year. I would go back and keep increasing it. But for this year, I would just uh, lower the appropriation by 100000 Is this the, the thing that's covered by that improvement, improvement mm -hmm. pension plan? Correct. Are we allowed to do that under that plan? Or is that is it our contribution that has to be the 700 Well, I think therein lies the mystery. I, <coughs> the, the mystery was, was resolved for me by the council adopting a resolution that said it would be 700,000 a year. From us. From us. Um, what's not clear to me, and I've looked a dozen different places, is whether anybody took into account the EE contribution, the employee contribution, as part of the total. I, I, I haven't seen that distinction made anywhere. Yeah, but it was in critical status, so we had to do something. And now it's made quite a bit of money. I think we're going to lose more money than we gain by taking out that 100000 yeah. Well, we're at 63.2, and that does not reflect the year-end market. It just reflected uh, six months ago. Um, that's how we got in trouble before, Louise. That's how we got in critical stage by not yeah, doing this But I think we're, uh, there's no need to overfund that account. And we've had years when the earnings on that and the appreciation of the count have not been wonderful. Um, but there was a change that was made to Washington Trust. Uh, but even as I recall, the um, 
uh, uh, the investment folks at Bank of America, and of course the stock market has really gone up in the past couple of years. That's not anything that's not directed. But I, I think that it's an appropriate amount to put in. Because uh, if, you know, with the member contributions, uh, it would be 750000 which still in the If we don't meet the requirements of the state plan for funding, right. they'll just penalize us in our state aid. That's what I mean. You're going to lose more than the game, man. It's not the other side of it. If we don't meet our, our required contributions, for the plan that was submitted by the town to, to bring this back down to critical. The, the, town's, the town's compliance with its funding improvement plan for this fund uh, raised or created the opportunity for us to get municipal incentive aid. This would be the last year of that. Uh, what do they do to us? Um, again, I, I have to keep coming back to all I have in black and white is a resolution from the council that was sent to the Department of Revenue as part of the funding improvement plan. That was the commitment of the council at the time to fund this effort no less than seven hundred thousand a year. You know, when I when I originally, way back in December, started working on the budget, I actually took this number down below seven hundred thousand. But I was swimming against the tide and a lot of folks with a lot of experience in the town said you really have to stick at seven hundred thousand and the more I reviewed it, the more comfortable I felt felt with sticking with that amount. Um, I, I we have a lot of things we need to pay forward. We talk about capital improvement. We also have the landfill closure and some of the other major projects that we have. We have been blessed as a town that so much money has been put into this fund at precisely a time when the market improvement has taken place and we have a manager that was actively managing this thing. So we're rapidly catching up to where we're supposed to be. Now, what is your strategy going forward on that level? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, it's just a. I just look at this line item. It's a huge line item, but it's you're creating. What you're creating is this significant savings at some future date. It's kind of like prepaying your mortgage. That's right. And so you planned a, fun, a funding improvement plan to a long point out into the future. Mm -hmm. And if you start to get to well over 100 percent funding levels in the future, you won't have to make those contributions, and you will have met your promises to your to your police. Now, there is an issue here which has got nothing to do with money and has everything to do with management. And you know, many years ago, this fund wasn't funded at all. It was shortchanged. And we had a number of other changes that led to a significant exodus. And we ended up with a very young police force. And we lost a lot of experience, a lot of our senior people. This is long before I was here, obviously. Um, and I, I would hate to see that happen again. That's right. um, well, so, can I ask two things? Just not that that would happen if you did this one thing, but I don't want to exaggerate. Okay. But I, it sends a message that is oh, may not be put up. I, I just would like to. Um, there are differing viewpoints. I myself am not a believer in 100% funded police pensions, mainly because it's based on such ethereal estimates. You are correct. So at the police pension fund board meeting the other day, I asked, and I think we're going to pursue restating the fund. Because there are a number of assumptions that I'm not so sure I believe. Well, it, it, you're always going to make assumptions. There are always you have, going to to. have to make yeah. assumptions, and you have to make estimates. So, to me, you know, we're projecting what we're going to need 20, 30, 40 years down the road. So, being 100% funded today for what might happen 40 years from now, mm -hmm. I'm not a believer in. That said. I would be a big proponent of coming up with some kind of a process for determining this number other than we need $700,000. That's it. <laughs> Do we have fund performance for the new Washington Trust fund managers? Do we know what their fund performance has been since they took over the fund? Do we have numbers somewhere? Yeah, I keep distributing these, so if I need to give them back again, I will. I mean, we just had a meeting the other day with the most recent update. Uh, it's been another phenomenal quarter. We right. beat the state again. Okay. So. You know, but you say you keep distributing them, but, but we haven't. Have, did, we may not have asked for them. I don't know if we asked for them. I, I don't know. I feel like I've made the copies of these reports over and over. But, times. Yeah. But I, <coughs> the best thing to do is if you have either time to call my office or come in. There was 
let's go through the entire file and get everything you need out of it so that we can make sure you see what you need to see. The second, and, um, because now I have an audit, you don't have the audit. On page 56 of the audit, I'm looking at the annual pension cost. I'm looking at the little table that tells you the cost. Sure, of I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the required contribution by the town, the ARC that everybody speaks of, is 544-334. Interest on that pension obligation adjustment to annual required annual pension cost is 568820. Is that 568820 what we actually paid out in Correct. 2014? Correct. I believe that's also inclusive of probably some fees. Okay. So we contributed 825,000 in fiscal year 2014, and we actually paid out 568,820. So we banked for the year almost 300. Plus, and plus, 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 you got to manage them sort of so that you get the maximum return, but you don't put more money in than you particularly need. We need certain things in the town. We may need that hot box. We may need a couple of things. You're talking about 100000 and 15000 No, no. We need paving. We need infrastructure. We need to set aside money for capital. 63% funded, 60% We're out of the critical funded. stage. 70% funded for something we could. Um, I'd love to see it three, four hundred thousand dollars. I just don't want to get penalized on the other right. side of it. Right. Yeah, that's, that's why. Well, I think 60% of the threshold if, if you were. Right, but it didn't eliminate the plan that you put forth, I didn't think. Uh, I, as far as I know, the plan stayed the plan until you have all kinds of growth. Yeah. 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 yeah, I just I wanted to know I need to see some that we're my and there's an economic rationale for this and then there's policy rationale and the two are always the same thing. But I think we are somewhere between where Laura is at, and I probably, I'm, I'm just going to guess, and you're saying that your probably benchmark is probably about 85% funding as a target or even less. Yeah. yeah and that's, that, I would say that's reasonable. But I think also 60% or rather out of critical funding status is not the threshold of success that I think um, we think it is. And I would just my own personal opinion, and this is why we talked about it at the council for as long as we did, that 700000 is the bare minimum. I think that it's sort of the penance we ought to pay this fund for having been um, painfully negligent of it for about five years. And we saw a 40% reduction in the asset value in one year alone, um, while Bank of America was telling us you have to find a new manager because we're out of the man money management business. And the year went by and they said, you have to find another manager because we're out of the money management business. And another six months went by before we actually hired someone to ma manage the fund. Um, I'm glad we're with Washington Trust. I'm glad we're seeing the returns we are. Um, I would like to have a, a conversation about this pension fund that is based on empirical data and is based on statistics and is based on the actuarial report, which, and I know this is annoying to everybody that reads it, has been wrong two years in a row and continues to be wrong because his statistical assumptions are incorrect. They are just false. Um, so it's hard for bodies like this and ours and the administrator and the pension board to, to, to grapple with these things if we don't have firm numbers. And then the 850 we started with three or so years ago was pulled out of the air. And the 825 the year after was pulled out of the air. Um, I think it benefits us greatly to invest as much money early on. And the earliest we can invest it is today. We can't go back in time. And so my my feeling has been for the last few years, 
ramp it up as much as we can to get to a comfortable cushion, which I think is probably about 68 to 70 percent, and then we can level it off. Um, I mentioned that some modeling I did last year. That's what I based my rationale of, of getting down to 700, because we were at 8, then we were at 750, and then we were at 7. And I felt comfortable based on the model that I run that that is rational. What did level? you take into consideration member contributions as you modeled? Yes. You did? Yep. How do you know we're not at 68% right now? We're close. I think we are. And um, I think the year end report, if you do the calculation based upon um, what the accrued liability is, I'll bet we're very close to 68%. Well, that assumes you use the accrued liability from a year ago. Yeah, well, which is statistically, ago. In, which is statistically insignificant. Yeah, and we can't. We're never going to get right six months. Right. So I am, and I looked at it uh, in 2010, and yes, we were because the. Um, but don't forget the market in in, in 08 and in 09 were in the soup. So I don't want to be too. Uh, snotty, but only some people and some funds lost all of their money in 2008, and there are certainly managers that help kept help kept their heads above water. So I'm, I'm not I'm not saying the Bank of America was in the, they were in the majority more than likely, but yeah. um, there were managers, and from what I've seen of Washington, they seem to be a heck of a lot more competent and active than well, you know, the, the only thing I'd interject here is I also I mean, the minister is the chairman of this board. I to see sustained over time, and not just because we've had three really good quarters in a row and we're making these gains. We are exposed to one percent, one and a half percent allocation in cash. <coughs> so the rest is in equities and other things that the value of which may fluctuate. And you know, at the current investment advice from our professionals is that really you can't be any place other than the stock market right now because nothing else is performing well. But you've watched the markets, you've watched the Dow index, even if you don't invest, you can see if you have one bad day in the Dow, <laughs> the value of your fund can go right back into critical oh. status. You need more cushion. I am certain, though, that the <coughs> Washington Trust, knowing their investment people, they're very conservatively invested. Um, but, you know, we can not, the prior, but they made 15.3% in one year. Who did? So Bank of America. In what year? In the uh, uh, 13, by the time yeah. they left. Yeah, you, you have to look at the curve of the 10 year, the 10 year span on either side well, of the five about, years. Uh, because they lost 43% of our assets the year before. If you gain 15%, you lost 43 the year before. You're, already, you're still in the hole. I'm not, I'm not arguing their overall performance or the, or the performance of the pension group. Sure. Okay. But I'm saying they did, so you can you can't uh, exactly knock them for that. However, uh, I don't want to prolong this, if I, but I I think this is a reasonable thing to do because the ultimate contribution, even under my motion, would be seven hundred and fifty thousand. Can I uh, to that point? Can you explain to me, Matt, on page? Do you have the actuarial report? On page four of the actuarial report. We have a table. Mm -hmm. But uh, you'd like to do five and a half percent font that I can't even read when I try. Yeah. It shows <coughs> we all got the actuarial yeah. report. What what I'm curious about and it kind of it gets to a portion of somewhat of what the we are <coughs> talking about because there's a column mark recommended contribution and then there's a column mark expected contribution. And then payroll and contribution, payment benefits, yada yada. And then we have the funded ratio way off on the right. If I look at the recommended contribution, I think I just answered my own question. The arc is, I answered my own question. Okay. Because the recommended, uh, what I was getting at is, well, I think this answers the 700, at least from the actuary for what they're talking about. My thought was that if the recommended contribution is the whole ball of wax, well, but read the, next, no, the, no. read the next column that says expected contribution for the first two years in that chart. 
Oh, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm getting there. They're wrong. But I got stuck on this. They're wrong. So, They're wrong. Okay. There, it's, no, there, it's data we know. We have that information. And for two years in a row, he has entered the wrong number. Yeah, oh, the 700,000, 700,000, 700,000. He assumed 700,000 throughout the whole point of the process. And this goes, this actually puts, put, shifts the scales further in the direction of uh, if you wanted to give less money because it, sh it shifts the funding ratio. But we don't know how much because it's an algorithm. And the best yeah. I could do was try to recreate the model as best I could in the first five years. Right. And it's pretty close, but it's not that close. Well, I remember looking at this table last year, and after 2022, it was 700,000, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, it just shot up to the moon. Yeah. And but three years after that, the, we were playing one and a half million. But the really important but part of, going down. But the really important part of that is the more you front load this fund, mm -hmm. The smaller that number becomes that's 20 right. years out. That's right. That's right. So that's really important. So that's not, why that, that not dynamic a, really changes. That's so it's just that, that curve simple out. dynamic that has made that big flip from what we saw last year, having it going up yes. to having it going down. Yes. Also, the contribution from the employee, which never was, which, which wasn't always there. Right. No. And what you want to do is a contract negotiation. You want to get now. So when it comes down to it, they're already at 10%, which is very high compared to everyone else. Well, have we kicked this around long enough so I'm ready to uh, move the question one way or another? Either yes or no. Who's second? Next question. Huh? Who's second? We've got the question now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called the previous question. Okay. 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 I'm going to make a vote. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even have your vote yet. You're voting against it. Correct. Okay. All right. So hold on a second. I go back to where I, to where I was. Okay. Gosh, maybe. So that does not pass, so it stands at 700,000. Well, I'm Except just, Laura has an emotion. Has a motion to propose? Well, I'm just. Let's not beat this thing to death here. <laughs> okay, fine. No, I mean, really, I, I don't know what we're going to do. I'll make a motion for the $700,000 to be put into the police pension. I'll second that motion. Okay, it's been moved, seconded. <coughs> Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? True to my word. Yep. <laughs> Is that 9 to 1? 9 to 1. I'm going to reserve the right to bring this back up again mm -hmm. when we get a bottom line because I, I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to want to cut some expenses and okay. that to me is... Well, okay, I'll make a motion that um, for other municipal pensions the amount is 439,198. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Unanimous? I'll make a motion that uh, the next three items, Social Security, Unemployment Security, and Unfunded Liability sick, be approved in the stated amounts of 509, 554, 10,000, and 55,000. Seconds. Down seconds. Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Unanimous? And I'll make a motion the Budget Committee receive a recommended amount of $1,250. You better vote for this, Madison. Second. 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 Second.
Yeah, that's, yeah, a good, I, that's what yeah. I have. That would be a good idea. <laughs> so supplies, postage, printing, and videotaping. I mean, yeah, so just postage. supplies and... Uh, no, for postage. Postage. We don't use postage. We don't have anything. Supplies and videotaping. Yeah. Just videotaping. Right. Well, but they're, they're going to make these things for us, print them up. Yeah. Doesn't matter. 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 It's kind of on the same place. Uh, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? But nobody put it against our budget. <laughs> right, uh, Fire department. Ooh. We can't do that or not, can we? Well, we didn't. The salaries, we did, the, the salaries were already approved at what? For, uh, provisionally approved. No, no, no the salaries were all. Or the salary, some of what? Something was. Not, not the not operating total. Okay. Operating. Oh, the operating. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. The operating total was approved. Um, we had. Back we, on we had all kinds of discussions on the 26th. Oh, the 26th. Yeah, that's right. So the operating budget was approved, but not the uh, not the overall. Uh, I'll start with the operating budget of uh, 263.635 operations. 263.635. Motion uh, oh, made. I'll second that. And seconded. Discussion. All in favor. All opposed? Abstain. So, and Jones abstaining. Okay. So, nine, ten, nine. It's tough to count to ten, you know. Come on. Know. Give me a break. Nine. Gee. Mr. Chairman, at this point, I'm going to excuse myself. Oh, I'm um, to thank, you thank you for showing up. It's okay. It's certainly uh, worthwhile. Well. Okay, See, we need so, you here because you put in a lot tonight. So thank you for being here. Well, I appreciate it. I'm going to feel in room with all my meeting right now. Yeah. So. Okay. so can you tell my us? My mother-in-law is waiting in the car. Okay, so there's three, three we have. The fire department salaries. Well, we have a mother-in-law and a dog waiting in cars. Not the dog. The reason's good. I'll be cracking the window. Yeah, they're going to pass the window. We're not in the same car. I'm not going to the same car. I'm going to pass the window. You know what? I'm going to pass the window. So, Mr. Chairman, I'll address the question through you. Uh, Ms. Epke asked if the salaries have been corrected after recalculation with the fire chief, and yes, they have been. Okay. We went down to the month, you know, that's, big that's fancy chart. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So, so those corrected numbers should okay. be. And it's 2169385 so that is a good number that is exactly. a good number um, move that one. i'll move no 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 well, no that's not a good no, number. We, we, no, no i'll, I'll make a motion put it out before sorry i'll second i'm sorry what's the motion <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm sorry <laughs> two million one sixty nine three hundred and eighty five to approve that month to approve, to that, approve amount. that amount. And second it? Yes. yes. Discussion? Yeah, discussion, definitely. Um, first of all, um, the fire marshal inspections, um, it's come to light that, well, first of all, um, Mr. Bento asked for a five year um, amount of the uh, fire inspections. You never got that, correct? It's in the book. It was $8,500, is that it? That was this year, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that doesn't justify 55012, especially with what's been going on with the fire department. I just think we've, we've got a new system in place right now. Let's give it a chance to work or not work and maybe make sure we re-examine these fire marshal inspections. I don't think there's a cost benefit analysis on it. And what we've seen is it's not bringing in very much, and I don't know why we would be putting another uh, position, a very high paying position at this time with all of the turmoil with the fire department. I think it's a bad, just not a good time to do it. It's bringing in 8,500, right? Yeah. It's bringing in 8,500. Yeah, that's it. Fire marshal revenues are 8,500. Yeah, the plan review, the plan review portion, the other it's not residential that. fees go to a separate account. Right, and if there's, there's the we don't know what it was. We don't, we don't know, know what it is. How can they have make an intelligent decision on this? Which they hide it. Where, 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 what's the other account? Where is it? Tell me how much it is. He asked for a course analysis. He didn't get it. He asked for so, five-year numbers on right. it. Yeah, and five numbers numbers until we get the five-year numbers. I have the five-year numbers on the plan review. The 
residential inspections are separate from the plan review. Okay, well, we need those. By state statute, they go into a separate account. Well, well, we, should, we, don't, we don't have that. You they go to the that? state in the fire, the fire pension. Well, go to the, the, the town, town uses those for fire prevention funds. For fire prevention. For the kids in school, for education, school all, all yeah. those types yeah. of things. It's oh, so that's what's in here. Yeah. In the audit? I yeah, think it would be in the back of the audit. That would say true. There's nothing hiding. No. Just, well, I'm just, I can't find it, well, I'm, I'm, and that's why I'm asking. Well, you need to well, ask, ask, you know, ask you know, the treasurer or, you know, where would I find information on the fire prevention account? Right, from the residential smoke inspections. Well, we thought we were going to get it from the five-year revenue. We didn't know there was two separate accounts. So there was... Well, the plan review is totally... It has nothing to do with the residential smoke detector. Well, it, it seems very obvious to you, but I'm not a firefighter, so I didn't know that was missing. But... So are you satisfied with this tip, Bill? I think it's a it's something that's long overdue needed in this town for some consistency. You know, what I don't understand is you accuse yourself or don't vote on fire department. Have I been seeing that correctly? But yet you take no, part in the discussion. No, some of it I do. Some of it I don't. But I think it's I think it's important to get to get your feedback and to get your information. Well, how can you accuse yourself from voting when, you, when you're finding it to be a problem and then you take part in the discussion? Because he's explaining to us what the needs are and why he feels that's important. Because we don't know. Well, all I'm saying is they changed the formula. Now they don't do it on overtime. They're trying to get this out for right. well, I don't know how long. But all I'm saying is let's wait till next year on this and see how that goes. Maybe it'll go well. Explain that to me. Explain they that. used to do it on overtime. Now they're made to do it on their regular shifts. Correct, Dave? Yeah, they're not busy enough. So, so not that just started. right, but I'm saying let's <laughs> see if that works. A chance to see if it works. Instead of putting another another person on there, when you know, for growing government. Madam, when you ought to get a, a scanner, and if you think they get a lot of time to do it when they're working, something wrong. You know, we're just too well, fast we, to put we, other, uh, more, we don't more know people this. in expensive captain pay. <laughs> Come on. Okay, well, you know, well I'm going to fall back here on um, a couple of items. First of all, I'm going to trust that the council and the fire chief and the town administrator talk this through ad nauseum. I'm also going to fall back on the endless, endless trouble that we've had with getting plans approved and businesses being delayed, right. construction being delayed, how, occupancy permits being delayed, because there was never anyone in that office. And that has always really bothered me. And I don't see any growing government. I, I don't, I don't get it. I think the saving, of, the saving money is. Like this. It, what are you going to save? 15000 yeah. Well, that's the thing. No one's done a study on it. We're just going to go and put someone in there. There's no cost-benefit analysis done. Last year was not appropriated. all the time. Budgeted for that line item was 40000 You're getting a full, you're getting a, a, a body dedicated to this service so that we don't have to put businesses on hold, we don't have to put occupancy permits on hold for 15000 Like I say, they, they have a dof different way of doing it now. Let's but it's not just that. It's not just that. It's not just that. You also have to hire somebody else to report All I'm saying is it's a very bad year to be growing government. Like, we, like Louise said, it was a bad year to, 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 to take money out of the police budget. You know what the I'm chief saying? I think that they, great attempts have been made to reduce the fire department budget, and they have substantially. $100,000 from last year. I think my own feeling is let's see if they can really work with this budget. It's a reduction. It's a substantial budget from what the department had uh, connected. Yeah. Fire inspections have always been a problem, and if this is um, this is a smaller budget than we faced, I give them a little discretion. 
Let's try this. I'm going to move the question. It's 100,000 less. It is. Oh, sorry. Can I just ask, is that? Can you hold it? Is that the um, that's the office that's open Sunday and not Sundays? Yeah, it's like, 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 What is the motion again? Is it the motion for the two million one sixty nine? Two million one sixty nine. All in favor of that uh, that budget number? Aye. I'm voting for seven all opposed? Seven to three. And we voted on the operation. Okay. And operation expense, we did that one. Uh, mm -hmm. Operation expense, we voted on the Police Department, I made a motion. Thank you. For 2690319, for total salaries, recommended expenses for the Police Department. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. Discussion. What was the total amount you had? 2690319. Six, oh, I get 320. Okay. Okay. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? 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 Take a motion for total of 130916 for general contractual and mandated expenses for the police department. Mm -hmm. Is that one or three? Mm -hmm. $130,916. Mm -hmm. I'm seconded. Okay, you have been seconded. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Page 14, I have a request to make a quick discussion. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure. Do you see it? Do we all, are we all on the right page? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, just to clarify, the under state education mandated, did the town council ask, did that, is it, should that, mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> what? What's the, the word? Is that, no, that's the one we didn't, oh, sure. did that should be 45,000. Yes! Good, so the catch. So the 48516 <laughs> should be 45. So we should be over there. Alex, we're all more than excited about the craziest thing. Don't you think? When I saw Sally, he said something. Why don't I have to go back to Sally? Because the education incentive is the one that needed to be fixed. What? It's 46,000. No, it's it's what was it? it's what right on on the um, salaries. That was changed. That was changed. That was changed. That was changed. Yeah. yeah, the other one was. Yeah. Okay. So that. She's on the board with mom. Okay. So that. This one should be forty-five. Correct. Oh, forty-five. Correct. That's not changed. Under this twenty-seven four hundred. Correct. Yeah. One twenty-seven four hundred. No, no, no. I'm I don't think that forty-six thousand is correct. If you look at the budget, we need to find those numbers. If we look at the budget, the 2014-15 budget number, so this current fiscal year's budget number for education incentive under salaries, that number is $47,242. Wait, where are you looking at? Oh, yes. $47,242. That is the number that has there is a calculation. It's not a, a round number. You don't have to go from the budget number of 47,242 and get should have been over there. We already provisionally approved 127,400 uh, for this one. For, this for the general, general contractual. General, general contractual mandated expenses. Okay. So we already re we reduced that amount by $2,500, basically. Now, we're looking for... I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
No, we didn't vote on it because it was. Education Center to the Police Department Salaries is 48516. And does that go on both the um, requested line and the recommended line? Yes. 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 All right, and you have to read. You know, one way to do it is just vote the bottom line because it's uh, uh, it, it will all wash out and just change the numbers and vote the bottom line. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, but we have to calculate the bottom line. Yeah, just <laughs> all we did was is just reverse. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. That's not a good idea. Yeah. Let's just let's make it clean. Yeah. What's the education incentive on the salaries? 48,516. 48,516. The bottom line salary total should be 2,692,835. Okay. Do we just legitimately, do we just, do we just find the previous vote or something yeah. like that? No, I have to reconsider. We have to reconsider. I reconsider. I make a motion to reconsider the, the vote on the salary. I'll make a motion of two million six ninety two eight thirty five for the total salary for the school year two thousand sixteen. Moved and seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? We got it ironed out. All in favor? Uh, All opposed. So voted. It's unanimous and still ten zero. Okay, so that new, new amount and we got a new amount of so now twenty seven four hundred. One twenty seven four hundred. All right, so I'm gonna amend my motion to be one twenty seven thousand four hundred instead of one thirty nine sixteen. Right. Yes. All right. So second. Second second. All in favor? All opposed so board. Mm -hmm. Ten gold stars for me. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right. Operations. I make a motion of 222-515 for police department operations. Second. Second. Second in discussion. All in favor? So vote abstention. You abstain, Joe? Mm -hmm. I make a motion of 72,811 for animal control. Motions. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Yes. Make a motion of 2600 for Harbor and Coastal Management Committee. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Make a motion of 21,110 for the Harbor Master budget. I'm going to amend that motion to increase it by 2,000 to 23,110. I'm assuming that's Second. adding back in the 2,000 from the system. Yes. Okay. Laura, I think you were not here for that. I was not here. Okay. Uh, is there a second to the second to the adjustment from the Okay, we're going to vote. Any discussion? Okay, we're going to vote on the reasons uh, first. Can, can, can someone fill me in briefly? Well, well, one of the Sorry. things they said is that it's very difficult uh, in certain parts of the operation not to have an assistant on the boat, whether it's placing mooring, dragging moorings, um, and uh, it had been in the past. So um, the case was made by the chairman, Bruce Cox, 
that it was from a safety standpoint and other standpoints having that assistant available um, was a safety issue for the uh, and for the effectiveness of the operation especially when it's hanging because you need two people on the boat yeah. but the council didn't think that you needed this you didn't get that deep okay it's not a pun I'll second the this motion. All right, so we have a, a motion to increase the, we'll put $2,000 in the assistant line, increasing the budget to 23110 Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Okay, so the new budget is twenty-three thousand and one ten. Chairman. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to have to leave soon. Um. Well, let's just get through. Let's get through. We're almost done with protections. Let's get through the life and services. That's great. The library, I think, will have a lot of discussion. Yeah, so let's move back to um, stream lights. One, I'll make a motion for 185 500. Second. Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Unanimous? And I'll make a motion 1500 for hydrant services. Sure. Uh, all, uh, discussion? <laughs> <laughs> all in favor? All opposed? So voted unanimous. No. Did you restate? I'm saying. <laughs> I can't figure out when you're stating it, when you're not. Still bridge. All right. We've made a lot of progress. Well, I'll tell you, I didn't expect it to go that far. Uh, what else is on the agenda? It's got the vote signing resolution for Fenny. We've been doing that from the preparation of the docket. I think we can get into that next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can get you, you want your updated spreadsheet, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one we've been Okay, no, I want to make sure it's on the same way. Um, I would gladly entertain a motion. You should have gotten one tonight. I did. Is that right here? Yeah, I think, I think I did. I'll double check. Okay. Um, we should approve the minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Motion to approve for any March 12th. March. We did the 11th, so March 12th of the. <coughs> and you've made the motion, Joe? Is there a section? Second. 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 Any discussion on the, on the minutes from the 12th? Okay. Uh, all in favor? So it's going to be. I abstain. I abstain. And you abstain. Yeah, it's eight, 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 oh, and two. You don't think you gave yourself a new job. Yeah, you're a fantastic job. Well, you're a demoted in a second round. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. No, we're not. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion. Yeah, I'll second it. Your dog can work. I'll second it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 He's not going anymore now. Yeah. He's got to go home. Oh, Sally's got the CD number. Five, he's two, which is a terror. I didn't recognize you. You were a walker. You were picking up the last three. Seven, eight, nine. I drove like by. All right. Motion to adjourn. I've had. I've got. All in favor? All opposed? So voted.